Hello guys, welcome back to the Paper Whisperer. Today I'll be showing you how to make an origami fish with scales. This fish is part, it's hopefully going to be part of my tessellation series. It's pretty simple, it'll probably take about 30 minutes. And it's still scales, obviously, because, like I said, and so it's a nice, somewhat realistic looking fish. And I'd say it's a good model for beginners if you're looking to do animals or something with scales. And you think, it, like, maybe you're using 3.5 or something, it's too complicated. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start by folding in half. That's our diagonally. Unfold. So you fold in half to diagonally on the other side. Or other direction. I mean, you know what I mean. Thanks. Unfold. And fold one corners to the middle. The one that's closest to you, or whatever. For, or if it's furthest, that's fine. Whatever you prefer. As long as it's the only one. And then, fold the edge that is where the corner used to be to the middle. And then repeat that twice more. You should have have done some fold something in the middle four times and then unfold completely. Repeat in the other three corners. If you're going to be fast, feel free to slow down the video, or you can go back and pause as well. Again, I feel like I haven't said this a lot lately, but if you have any mod requests, please tell me in the comments. I'm happy to make it for you, whatever you want. The thing is, obviously, I can't like, do, you know, other people's models are really complicated, but, like, maybe it's an animal or something. I'll figure it out for real. And here is our grid. Again, it's like a tilted grid, you could say. But it's basically in a certain way. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over. The side you want the fish to be colored. I'm going to make my... Sorry, the other is the opposite side of the fish you want to make colored. So, if you want to have a shiny fish, turn it to the matte side. If you want a matte fish, turn it to the shiny side. So, I'm going to make a shiny fish. This thing looks cool, but, you know, you do whatever you want. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, I guess, I'm going to find the middle crease and go one over from it and make that a mountain fold. And kind of like a crimp, I'm going to fold it back down on the, val the next valley, or the next crease as valley, sorry. Or the three on the other side. So we find the crease next to the middle. This time on the other side. And we create that valley. It should look something along the lines of this. Again, you can use whatever okay you like. Whatever works. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create is I'm gonna um oh yeah, sorry. Um is I'm gonna um unfold. So you see where these, um, what's it called? Um, you see, so there's gonna be an end, a skinny part, and a thick part. The skinny part is where these corner, these, this create when, where you see the 130, 35 degree angle, or when the square ends. So the skinny part is over here. We're gonna make a mountain fold at the end of the skinny part, kind of like we did before, and create that valley fold next to it. This time towards you. Probably best. And this is kind of optional, because we'll unfold it at the end, but I think it looks nicer this way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold, um, we're going to count one, two, three grid, squid, grid lines. Create that, make that an amount fold, and follow fold next to it. It's going to start creating like this thirds pattern of scales. It's going to look like this. Now, what I'm going to do is 
and once I have two, which means either two and two vertically, which means like two on the skinny side, or I do one on each side horizontally, wherever I created the first creases after the grid, then we switch to the other. Does that make sense? I'll explain a little more. Basically, we, or now that we have on um, this part, which is like the kind of like the thick middle part, I guess you could say, um, is you're gonna find one grid, one grid square away from, one grid line, one grid row, whatever, away from it, create that mountain board, so one crease away from that will, like, bump there, which looks like this, and then fold back down as belly, again, towards you, or whatever, or away from the original crease. Then, we're going to repeat again. And since we have one more on each side, we switch to the skinny part, or the vertical part, whatever you want to call it. And create that mountain fold, same direction as always, and fold back down to valley, and repeat that once more. Oops, one, two, three, I guess for me. Okay, so we have one, two new creases. Here. One, two. So now I'm gonna fold um and I'm gonna keep that like one crease away then. And we repeat these steps until we have a square again. Or I guess as close to square as it gets. It's not really a square, if you know what I mean. It should look here. I'll keep going without talking. Feel free to rewind if you need to, and I'll res and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. With um, I'll explain what it's supposed to look like when I finish all these creases. So feel free to keep watching if you want to. By the way, I'm using tissue foil from workonmeshop.com, orange tissue foil, very great paper. Okay, so if you've done all the creases correctly, there should be one extra actually at the end. It should look something like this. So it should have a bunch of scales on it. I'm going to turn it over to the shiny side now. Or whatever. It'd be easier to turn the model over. It doesn't matter which side you're on as long as you turn it over. And I'm going to fold it in half. Mountain fold, I should say. Yeah, mountain fold in half. Now, I am going to pull, so we're going to open it slightly, I want to just unfold one on each side. That means that basically on both the front and the back, you should see, it should look like this. We're going to just pull one away on each side, so front and back. Now we're going to refold it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um oh yeah sorry um we're gonna fold we're gonna it should look like something like this in the front. We're gonna take this part 
so there should be some kind of pocket like them. I want to fold it so it aligns with this part. And we're going to repeat on the other side. And then we just kind of squash it together to create our eye. Now, we're going to, um, we're going to actually create some, a unique kind of fold. We're going to go through every single layer uh, from the head to the fin, which is this part up top. So, head to fin. And we fold it along all the layers, except for, oh yes, half the layers if you think about it. And we're going to fold it down to here. Um, and repeat on the other side. You can make a mount. And it's also about a valley fold, I guess. Or a mountain fold, depending on you look at it. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold, is we're gonna, is we're gonna quickly, we're gonna, is we're gonna actually create a reverse fold, kind of. That's done. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of push this down. And on the inside, it should look like this. I guess you don't really do a reverse fold, you just kind of suck it inside. Repeat on the other side. We're gonna create, find kind of valley fold it, and I should make it stick out to the side. That flap. We're gonna kind of shape it however you want from here, pretty much, until we add the tail. You can add a few shaping pieces, whatever you want to do. some more detail in a second once I finish adding a few of these parts of shape in that I want to add myself. Okay, that looks good enough for me. And now, what we do, oops, let me fix that. Is we're going to add the tail now, which isn't that bad. You just kind of fold each of these parts out. So you should see, so you see it looks like this. I'm just going to kind of carefully fold these two parts out. I'm going to pinch this to make it look a bit better. I'm just going to quickly put this in. I'm going to go back to adding more time lapses soon as well. Sorry it's been so long. Also, thank you for being patient. Now, another optional thing you can do is you can add dorsal fin instead of two fins. I might do that, actually. It's not perfect, but, you know, it'll, it'll work. So... I'm gonna quit. So what we can do is instead of folding it down and kind of like creating that weird fold, we're actually gonna fold it all the way up instead of lining up with the bottom. We're kind of like, and then we're gonna fold these two together and like with a certain type of fold. If that makes sense. Like we're gonna fold both layers with one fold. Yeah, a little 
little bit of shaping to mine. And just like that, we're pretty much done. You can add a few more details if you want to. I'm not going to add too much more. I'm just going to quickly shape the fish body a bit more. I'm also going to shape the head a bit so it looks a bit more realistic. Maybe not that much. Um, we just have to, you know, it's going to take a lot of practice. I only designed this a couple weeks ago. Another, I know there's a lot of options you can shape this as much as you want. I have some that actually turned it over and maybe it looks a bit better that way. Sometimes, you know. Pretty turn to whatever you want, basically. Ta-da, our fish is done. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.